Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use formulas to perform mathematical functions on cells. There are two basic ways of writing formulas that are available, ranged syntax or simple syntax. A syntax is simply a way of expressing or writing something. It is important to note that these two syntaxes are not mutually exclusive. In fact, your more complex formulas will often incorporate elements of both to arrive at the desired result. Typically, you use the simple syntax to perform multiple mathematical calculations on multiple cells. You use the ranged syntax to perform a single mathematical function on multiple cells. To write a formula, first click into the cell where you want the results of the formula to appear. Next, write your formula. When you're finished, exit the cell to display the answer to the formula that you wrote. Once again, this is the concept of content versus display at work. The actual content of the cell will be the formula, but the cell will display the answer to the formula. If you click into the formula cell after it has been created, you will see the actual formula displayed within the formula bar and the answer displayed within the worksheet. To show the actual formulas within the worksheet, you can press the control key on your keyboard and the single left quotation mark key. Each time you do this, Excel will toggle the worksheet display between the answers and the formula. Now when you are creating ranged syntax formulas, you first select the cell into which you wish to enter the formula. Start by typing the equal sign. Formulas always start with an equal sign. This prevents Excel from interpreting the formula as a simple text entry, since formulas are simply letter number combinations. Then type the name of the function which you wish to perform on the cell range or cell ranges. Then type an open parenthesis. Then input the cell range or cell ranges upon which you wish to perform this function. Finally, type a closed parenthesis. Then exit the cell using your keyboard or simply click the check mark button within the formula bar to set the formula. Note that you don't use spaces between elements within a formula, however, they are not case sensitive. Creating a simple formula is like writing a standard math problem. Once again, Start by selecting the cell where you want to display the results of the formula. Type an equal sign. Next, type the cell addresses that you want to use in the formula joined together with the standard mathematical operators. You can also enter standard numbers into a formula if desired. However, you will more often want to manipulate the values of the cells, which may change, and thus you will more commonly use cell references instead. If you want to perform a single calculation on a range of cells, it's usually easier to create a ranged formula instead of a simple formula. In simple formulas, the standard order of operations applies. Designated operations are performed from left to right with anything in parentheses calculated first, then exponentiation, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Now note that you can also use both syntaxes within a single formula. For example, if you wanted to sum the first 10 cells in column A, 
and then subtract from that value the sum of the first 10 cells in column B. You could express it as a single combined formula, such as equals sum A1 through A10 minus sum B1 through B10. In this case, you're using a simple syntax formula to subtract the values derived from two range syntax formulas. Most of the more complex formulas that you create will incorporate both syntaxes in order to derive your answer. Formulas that use cell references will automatically be recalculated when you enter or change the values in the cells referenced by the formula. This is one of the best features of Excel, and one of the reasons that you will rarely find numbers directly entered into a formula. When you use cell addresses and formulas, you can either type them, or you can use the mouse to select the cell or cell ranges that you want to insert. As always, once you're finished writing the formula, leave the cell in order to save the formula and display the answer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.